Hi guys, it's me again, Maria, and welcome back to another Blendzilla video. Time check, it's 10 minutes past 5, so let's go hurry, kasi nga, in no time, didilim na. We are going to check out a garden that I happen to pass by every day, and sobrang nakaka-inspire tingnan. Aside from malinis talaga siya, sobrang gandang-ganda ako sa plants nila. And we are lucky enough na kahit hindi ako nakapagpaalam beforehand, papapasukin tayo ni Nong Jin. Thank you so much! For today's video, we are not gonna spend so much time here kasi nga baka magdidilim na. So, we will be defeating the purpose of showing you around the garden kasi nga hindi na makikita masyado yung plants. Once we get in, talagang pagpasok pa lang marami ng plants. So, we have here the philodendron green emerald and then the imperial green looking like it's living in its natural habitat kasi nga parang paakyat na siya sa kahoy. It is kind of refreshing seeing it climb kasi nga natural climber siya. And in this spot here, Black Majesty daw talaga yung nakalagay. However, nung medyo umulan-ulan ni Nakao, Nako naman. Another green emerald here. And itong mga purple na dahon, tong ganda ang ganda ako sa kanila. But I don't know what's their name. If you happen to know what are they, please don't hesitate to comment that down below. Para naman maliwanagan ako. And thank you in advance. That area here is surely intended for visitors who would want to chill. And let's move on to this Anthorium rainforest here. It has a lot of seeds, so this is what we use in propagating them. However, there are people who would risk dividing or cutting this plant. Well, I'm not saying that I recommend that, but there are some people who do and it's their choice. So, on this area, madadaanan natin tong chilling area. We will go back on that later, but we will check this huge philodendron milinone here. I think this one's ready for propagation because marami nang lumalabas na roots and I am seeing a lot of them here. There is one sensation. I think this is a sensation. So maraming plants dito na nakalagay sa rack na to. There are also Calathea. So this is another Philodendron Milinoni. So as I can see, para talagang pinopropagate yan nila kasi dumarami to. Another one here. They probably started collecting before pa kasi sobrang dami na ng ganito nila eh. So once we turn left, we will see here a small rainforest. And then there is also a Glenemus in Picara and a hanging native hammock. So parang ang OA ko doon, a hammock is a duyan. So ito yun. Above is a tall tiny hut. So they can be here whenever they want to pause and take a break during the day. This is something that I would seriously consider if given a chance to beautify my own home. So pag may budget na. <laughs> We really decided to be here today because every time I see it, I find it really beautiful. And look at the tricolor here. I can say that this is an aged tricolor because the leaves niya nag turn into white. Na, and it's super ready for propagation. Anyway guys, I'm not saying that you need to have this to consider your home or your garden beautiful. Living peacefully with a complete family is surely enough. So having this is just a bonus. I'm just merely enticed on how clean it is and how they organize the plants as well as their garden accessories. And this can also be a great garden idea for those of you who would want to chill but do not want to leave your home and if you have enough space to put something like this then go for it. Look at this one planters, they are also beautiful. I'm pretty sure that they are still planning to put a lot more kasi sobrang laki pa ng space dito and they are so creative in beautifying their garden and playing with some accessories and in making use of the space that they have. But for those of you who are more on saving some space and who would want to maximize every space that you have at home, then don't worry. We will also be looking for more garden ideas for you so that you will have the idea on how to beautify your own place. Because personally, we don't also have the luxury of enjoying a space as big as this. So let's explore together. Seeing organized gardens na alam mong sobrang grabe ng effort na inexert para dito is really making me happy. So when you get in, this is what you will really see at the right side. So yung place for tea, coffee, or your kagay session, and then this tall tiny hut with a hammock below. 
And dito naman, we will be seeing this one that is designed with a wheel. Parang bench yan, and that is concrete. So, there are two of them, one on the other side. Para sa akin, this place never really ran out of sights that would make my eyes happy. I'm not sure what's the name of this one, pero meron ako niyan. Hindi trimmed kasi sobrang liit pa. So, ayan. Sobrang ganda. They're also surrounded with trees, but I'm so amazed na wala man lang kadakon-dakon sa ground na hindi nawawalis. This is a variegated five fingers. Well, I'm not sure what's the name of this plant. Merong champagne tree and this is the other one. And for now, we are heading to the grotto. This is a part that is always lighted at night, so makikita mo siya even if nasa kalsada ka lang. This one here is an imperial green, also ready for propagation, and a ficus triangularis. And on the right side is another ficus triangularis, so they will welcome us when we get in. Sobrang laki na nito, and I think nabubuhay to through Marco te. Another imperial green is here, ready for propagation. Ayan, marami ng aerial roots na lumalabas. And a royal queen, which is also climbing here. Kung sa amin pa to, nakat na to para makapag-propagate. But for them, they're leaving it as it is. Na parang nasa forest lang, pinapaklimb. And I really find it amazing. This few steps here are surely made out of concrete, but they are trying to make it look like they're wooden. So these are the perks of having a skilled neighbor whom you can talk to and share your ideas so they would realize it for you. Among all the other birds nests that I saw here, this one so far is the largest. We'll get back into those two philodendrons before we can climb onto the grotto. Let's move here to the side. This one here is a large one. Sobrang ganda. I'm not sure how long does it take to grow one as huge as this. So, let's get back into this Philodendron Naro Tiger 2. Marami silang ganito dito. Meron na akong nakitang ganito kanina. And all of them are huge. They told me that they are the ones who propagated it. Kaya na parami nila. And there are accessories in the pond. I see some fishes. So, merong parang bird na ganyan. Hindi ko kalala kung anong bird yan. But I'm sure that's a bird. So, we need to move on to the side. So, we can see what are those plants behind the parang drum na ginagamit nila for filter. So there is a cobra fern and there are some severias and those are sh for sure newly propagated cardboards. These are aglonemas, there are colus. So sobrang dami, meron ding tricolor and moonlight. This area here is the fence na. So to make it more prominent, they painted it with different colors para ma-accentuate tong roto. They are using a DIY filter for the pond water which is a bright idea. Anyway guys, meron po kaming malaking philodendron naro tiger tooth but I've never seen it bloom this way. May tatlong flowers po. Look at that. Seeing this make me look forward for our own <laughs> plants or own William na sana magka-flower din ng ganito. This must be really old na kasi meron ng maraming flowers, hindi lang isa. I've heard the philodendrons do bloom once they reach maturity but that is a staggering 15 to 16 years. My god. So they really have it here. I don't know when they started collecting philodendrons and all the other plants here kasi nga ito nag-bloom na pero the other one here, wala pa namang ano flower so yun lang talaga baka yun yung mother of all mothers sa lahat ng William na nandito I'm very excited to wait for my turn to see when will my philodendron bloom there are also centipede ferns below I think that is a centipede fern I'm not sure though so ay nakayat muna tayo we can see it here na parang naka brick design I'm not sure if they are really bricks or they are just designed that way. There are tiny mushrooms here with falls pang maliliit and then dalawang pandanus na magkaharap. And this place here is intended for Mama Mary. So, siya yung star dito. Mayroon pa po siyang flowers. So, based on my observation, yung pagka-design nila dito, parang they're trying to make it look symmetrical. They're trying to balance out everything. So, kung ano yung plant na nakalagay sa kabila, yun din yung ilalagay sa kabila. Same with the mushroom accessories. And this pink bird here, ano kayo yung pangalan niya? So, meron pang maraming plants dito sa gilid. I think parang 40 years tong 
pinaglalagay ng plants dito eh. And this is the islet. I'm not sure if this is a monstera. These are begonias. There are aglonemas and then there is a red congo hiding up there. So na propagate na din pala nila yung miliona guys kasi may baby miliona na dyan. So below here is a monstera adansoni. So ayan, ito yung makikita nyo view from the grotto guys. So this is gonna be the left side. So ito yung pinakita kanina. They are so beautiful. So on this side here, you will see that they really have a lot of Williams. They also have Zanadu. There is a wave of love beside the door that is the main door. And there is a red congo there. So hindi na tayo pupunta pa doon kasi baka may mga dogs. The space that they have here is super clean despite of the size. And even if there are trees that surround it. So it is really amazing how they manage to maintain it. Kasi nga, spur ng gin, siya lang po yung nagme-maintain dito mag-isa. This place is just along the road. So, every time na papunta akong work, nadadaanan ko talaga to. And I really appreciate um, how they organize their plants. And I'm so happy that today nakapasok po kami. So, this Anthurium rainforest is ready for propagation. So, kailangan mo lang tanggalin yung mga red na ano, mga bunga niya. So, yun po yung itatanim. But not every seed na yan is tutubo talaga. So, patience is a virtue kasi hindi po sila mabilis palakihin. Lalo na yung mga kasing laki na nito. So, now it's time to go back on this place kung saan pwedeng mag-chill yung visitors nila. So, yung chair is parang, yung design niya is parang mug. So, ayan. As you can see, I love the color as well. Chocolate brown and then cream. And then, itong table na to mismo, is yung stand parang yung old sewing machine ni Nong Jin kasi marunong po siyang manahe so they made a table out of it so yung parang ibabaw niya is a hardwood I think it's a togas and it is also having a huge umbrella this design for me is out of the ordinary so I really love this I guess that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. For us to stay connected, please do like Planzilla.bhl on Facebook or you may join Philodendron Bohol, our official Facebook group. If you have suggestions and ideas what to do in our next videos, please do comment it down below and subscribe to our channel. Click the bell button beside it so you will get notified whenever we upload a new video. It has been Maria, the voice of Planzilla Bohol. And I'm so happy na my seeds na po kami ng Anthurium Rainforest. So itatanim po namin to once we reach home. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Happy planting.